Don't wanna wake up if I'm dreaming because you know I can't get enough of this feeling you're giving me. Don't wanna wake up. No, I don't wanna wake up. Don't wanna wake up without you, baby, without. Good afternoon, everyone. It is 3.35 on Thursday, right? It is Thursday? Yeah, I think it says Thursday. Um, I'm still in my pajamas, which is just a t-shirt and some pajama pants. Punts. Pajama punts. I'm all punts that way. Pajama pants. Um, but I had to get three tops embroidered out, and I just got them done. And now we have to run to the post office. Um, for those that don't know, our post office closes early. They close at 4 o'clock. And then, like, from 1 to 2, they're closed in the afternoon. So it's hard for me to, um, just, I don't know. It's just hard for me to work around that. So I try to leave my house by at least 3.30 to make sure we get it. And it's already 3.36. And i got to put some clothes on. And Miss Journey's down here. She's just gonna go in her sleeper. But um, for like a couple of my, well, not a couple, one of my orders, I practically just held her in my arms while I embroidered it out. It was, it was, you know. And then when I go to change the thread, I just, cause it's on the table, I just kind of plop her butt, and that way she's up against me. And then I work my arms behind her to thread the machine, and then I hold her again, and then kind of hold the the fabric out of the way and stuff yeah but anyway at least I got it done that and that's what matters and I'm actually kind of like you know proud that I got three done in the afternoon because that never happens I try to get two done a night when my husband gets home off from work and after we eat dinner and if he's got to go to his mom's house after he goes and because he goes every other night you know to help his mama so I'm just glad so we gotta go get ready and go Okay, Google, stop. Hey guys, we are home. We ran to the post office. I dropped Sterling off at her grandma's um, so she can go sit with her grandma for a little while. And I am making a ham. Um, I bought this ham. It is just a hardwood smoked ham with the bone in. I don't know if you guys can see. Here it is. But back before Easter of course all the hams are on sale so this ham is a seven pound ham and it was just eight dollars and sixty cents so I am going to cut this guy open guy girl I don't know what it is <laughs> but we're gonna eat ham tonight my husband hates um, cutting the, the ham so normally I'll try to get the spiral ham but since this one was so stinking cheap I was like yeah <coughs> so the way I'm doing this ham is I'm gonna put it bone down and I just put maybe about a little bit of water not even a lot maybe that was maybe a quarter cup if that um I did line my pan with tin foil just because I'm gonna do a honey glaze on it later but for now I'm just gonna cover it in tin foil and cook 15 minutes for every pound. And what I usually do is take two pieces of tin foil. There we go. <laughs> two pieces of tin foil, the shiny side in. And I just kind of just hold it over. 
and then I'll put it over my hand. Now that's all set. I do this for my turkeys too. I just put a cover on the turkey. Um, I just do this method. I don't know. I could buy bigger tinfoil, right? Right. But anyway, Journey's getting upset. Let me throw this in. not a very good angle uh -oh. I'm actually wearing like one of my maternity shirts it was in the back of the closet and I was like hey I'm just gonna wear that one I mean it's just really long on me I mean that's about it yeah you gonna talk she's nursing and yelling at me <laughs> but I'm washing my sheets and my pillowcases and baby laundry. I just wash it all. Um, I wash the bed sheets and the pillowcases and everything with the draft. Since she sleeps in this bed in the dock tot, and I'm also washing the um, dock tot. Dock a uh, tot. I just, I just like to call it dock tot. I forget the uh. And I noticed like in the um, videos, I don't say instant pot. I say a lot of times the insta pot. I don't know why. But anyway, I'm nursing her right now. She's just, I think she's tired. Short nap. Short nap, about 20 minutes. <laughs> uh, my ham is going off. I put it in there for an hour because it's, Needs like an hour 45 to cook. Um, but I do the ham glaze, so I'm getting ready to do that. So I got that beeping at me. Well, let me just turn you off. Okay. And then she woke up, and I was trying to answer a message real quick. Well, not answer, but just respond. Um, there's actually a gal that has a YouTube channel. Her name is Tiffany Spaulding. And um, let's see hair. I started watching her when I was trying to conceive, when we were trying to, not me, when we were trying to conceive, and she did a lot of trying to conceive videos, and she does like Dollar Tree hauls and stuff, um, but anyway, she found out she is pregnant and having a girl. <gasps> what do you think of that, huh? And I just sent her a big box of stuff, um, this thing is dying. I gotta go charge it. Um, mainly, it was a lot of the, if you remember, before um, I even had Journey, I found a ton of the fleece sleepers. See, we got a lot of these. I bought for a dollar. <gasps> like this one, it says five bucks, but the ones that are on top, I think I bought eight of these for a dollar at Walmart. And they were like three bucks so I bought a bunch when they were three bucks and then we went into another Walmart and then I found some that were just a dollar and I couldn't pass them up so I bought 
a ton of those fleece sleepers, but it never get never got like cold enough where I felt like she needed to wear it because you know we're always in the house and we're heated and we're not actually it's not like freezing cold when we go out and yeah so anyway um I had washed them all but Journey just never wore I think she wore one maybe two but I'm pretty sure it was just one so I just passed that along as, as well as like a few other odds and ends that Journey can't fit I have like three totes of stuff right now but you know there's some stuff it's just like it's hard to part with it I'm like um, I don't want to do anything with it I just want to keep it because I just remember her wearing it and yeah I just I mommy just can't part with it yet maybe we'll make a quilt maybe we'll do one of those quilts where you make the quilt out of little clothes that'd be a good idea that'd be a fun project huh so anyway I was trying to clean up and pick up around here and so all Journey's toys I just piled here on the high chair and then when she woke up I just threw her in there but I'm gonna get ready I'm gonna make this glaze to go on the ham because it needs to be glazed and then um, I need to peel potatoes and get those boiling so just because I never showed you guys how I made my glaze at Easter I'm just gonna show you right now really super duper simple and it's so yummy so you need your honey brown sugar and if you wanted to do like some ground cloves you could do that my husband really doesn't like cloves I like them but he don't so you gotta please him right so <clears throat> I just do like a half stick of butter um, and I just use real butter whenever I do any kind of like baking or cooking I try to use real butter unless it you know it's better with margarine anyway so this is the honey I just got the cheap um, great value clover honey this is what I used last time too you're gonna add about a cup of brown sugar I'm not measuring. <laughs> so, just do about a cup of brown sugar. Then I do a whole 16 ounces of the honey. Here is, as you can see, it's all juicy. I hear a crying baby in the background, but I went ahead and I, uh, I turned my ham over because we're going to eat this part and that's the part I want mainly the glaze over. So you can just pour in. This is why you want either a aluminum pan or line your pan with tin foil because this is gonna cake on. So I just do like that. <laughs> now I'm gonna put it back in the oven for 15 minutes and then pull it back out and then do the same thing over and over again for like the last hour or 45 minutes in this case. Sometimes we just have to do what we gotta do, right Journey? This girl was screaming bloody murder. And I know it's not safe to have her and her little bumble up on the countertop. Huh, but we gotta do what we gotta do, right? <clears throat> this is the only way she's gonna let me peel some potatoes. She loves to watch the fishies. So, we're gonna turn her right here. 
and I'm right here with her and obviously if I'm posting this video she made it through <laughs> and I'm going to peel potatoes washed out and didn't take so I probably just didn't leave it alone long enough so I'd like to do that Love it. Yeah. Okay, ready, Sterling? We're gonna do yours next. Well, she wants to. Bad. She wants to give you a big reveal. We gotta catch your reaction. Look. It is a little bit lighter, isn't it? Darker. Pinker. Well, that's what I meant. Pinker. But it's hard to tell. I ain't got no light. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a lot pinker. That's Pinky Pinkerton. Yeah. Pinker Pinkerton? Mm-hmm. Pinkerish. You love it now? How long will it take to do my leg hair? <laughs> um, I mean, it's not short, short weather yet, so. Couple of days. Couple. Hey, guys. I finally was able to get a shower. I took a shower and I put on pajamas because I wasn't going anywhere. But now it is 11 o'clock and I'm going to head to bed. I didn't work on anything um, this evening. I did three this afternoon and my hand is pink from dyeing Strolly's hair. <laughs> this one's okay, but this one's pink. Um, but anyway, I did three this afternoon and so I just, I'm like, you know what? There's other things I want to do, like edit vlogs. So I got two edited. Um, one's going live tomorrow morning at 9, and the next one's going live to Friday, Saturday, Saturday morning. Um, but I do, there is a Spongebob I have to get done tomorrow and shipped out, so I'll do that, because that's the next one on my list. And then I'll... Doggy. Okay, so my battery just... Doggy. My battery totally died. Anyway, um, I had a lady contact me and tell me that she needed an order by the 17th. And then I looked on her order, and her order is actually supposed to ship out on the 17th. Um, but she didn't put a note anywhere in her order. She just sent a request prior, like, in a separate email. You know how they can sell and send a custom request. Apparently she sent that, and I never responded to it because I was probably thinking, you ain't gonna get it by 17th. Anyway, um, I told her I'd try to help her out the best I could. Um, the next order after um, the SpongeBob, I have a unicorn, but that doesn't. She doesn't need hers until 28th, so I'm just gonna switch those two. That way, this lady gets her order. The other one gets her order. What are you guys doing? 
Are you dancing? Smell it. It smells like hair dye. It's stinky. Do you love it? Yeah. What are you going to tell everybody? Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. If you like your pink hair. If you like my pink hair, give this video a thumbs up. But what if they give it a thumbs down? Then that means they absolutely love it. <laughs> I you were going to say that. You're so funny. Anyway, I'm going to head to bed. I am finally getting over this cold, although right now I am feeling a little, a little stuffed up. Yeah. Somebody mentioned maybe it's allergies. Bye. Could be. I don't know. I don't know. At this point, I don't know. I just want it to go away. So, anyways, guys, bye. Oh, I got a surprise for you guys tomorrow, too. What can it be? I don't know. It's a surprise. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye. <laughs>